In this video, we are going to talk about the combinations of functions. Combinations. Now later on, we will talk about compositions. Compositions are different from combinations. Combinations are simply add, subtract, multiply, and divide. What you have to be careful about is understanding the notation. So I'm going to begin by just doing a few problems. I have two functions f of x is equal to 5x minus 6 and g of x is equal to 9x minus 7. These are just two functions, f of x and g of x. If I gave you this, I said find f plus g of x. What many students want to do is they want to add f plus g. Well, first of all, what they do is they say, that oh, we can't add those. Those are not like terms. Well, you're right, they're not like terms, but remember, we are talking about functions here. This is the f function. This is the g function. This is to add them together. What students want to do is add them together and then multiply it by x. Yes, I do realize that it looks like that. But you have to realize that you're in function notation, and this is f plus g of x. You are not multiplying by x. An easier way to write this is probably just f of x plus g of x. This is shortcut. This is shorthand. Some people like to write it like, hey, I'm going to take these two functions, the f and the g function, and add them together. But it's easier to understand if you just say, hey, take f of x plus g of x. Okay, so f of x is 5x minus 6 plus g of x is 9x minus 7. Now, I should possibly leave these in parentheses. You know, f of x, that was 5x minus 6. g of x is 9x minus 7. Since I was adding these, I knew I would not run into a careless error because adding, nothing changes. If this had been minus, I would have had to make sure I left the g of x in parentheses and distribute that negative. But this is plus. So let's just carry on. Add your like terms. 5x and a positive 9x is 14x. And negative 6 and a negative 7 is a negative 13. Yes, it is simple as that. Okay, let's do the next problem. Once again, we're still in functions. This says f minus g of x. Once again, students want to do the f minus the g, but then they want to multiply it by x because that's how it looks. But no, that's not what this means. We have to know what it means. Just like you know to stop at a red light. You don't stop at a green light, right? You stop at a red light. Why do you stop at a red light? Who said that red means stop? You just learned that, right? Well, you just have to learn about function notation. F minus G of X means F of X minus G of X. Someone just shorten it to F minus G of X. Maybe they were putting it in a text message. So they're wanting to shorten it. Yeah, I know. They didn't have cell phones back then. Okay, so f minus g of x is just a shorthand way of saying f of x minus g of x. So this may make it more clear to you. Let's work the problem. f of x is 5x minus 6 minus g of x is 9x minus 7. And now we just work it out. Now, did you notice I definitely kept my functions in parentheses? f of x? f of x is not 5x. It is not 6. It is 5x minus 6. g of x is 9x minus 7. Well, this is subtract g of x. It doesn't say just subtract the first term of g of x. It wants me to subtract g of x. So I do need to be careful and do minus, put g of x in parentheses, and then, of course, you need to remember about adding and subtracting polynomials. Be 5x minus 6. And yes, I do have this negative in front of this parentheses. Change all of the signs. That be minus 9x and a positive 7. And then we will add our like terms. 5x and a negative 9x is a negative 4x. Negative 6 and a positive 7. That will be a positive 1 f of x minus g of x is equal to negative 4x plus 1. Now we want to do f times g of x. 
Remember, this just means f of x times g of x. I know I keep reiterating this, but I have counted many problems wrong because students did a wonderful job in the beginning at multiplying using FOIL, and then they multiplied everything times x. Remember, this is just a shortcut way of saying f of x times g of x. And the way y'all use text messaging, y'all should be able to learn math shortcuts, just the way you learn text messaging shortcut, right? Okay, let's go. This is a binomial. And look between these. Nothing's there. I know it's multiplying. So it's a binomial times a binomial. I can use FOIL, our first term. That will be 45x squared. Outer terms will be a negative 35x. Inner terms will be a negative 54x. When I add those together, I will get negative 89x. I did skip that step, but y'all should be used to doing FOIL by now, but that was the outer and the inner. The last term, negative 6 times a negative 7, will be a positive 42. So that is f times g of x, or f of x times g of x. Okay, this is f divided by g of x. What does that mean? That means f of x, which is 5x minus 6, divided by g of x, which is 9x minus 7. I can't factor either one of those, so nothing will cancel out. Please don't tell me you're trying to cancel out these x's. In the numerator, we have 5x minus 6. In the denominator, we have 9x minus 7. Nothing will cancel. We're done. That's it. All you had to do is write f of x over g of x. Okay, so let's talk about the algebra functions. And that's just the add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And as you can see here, these are just all the notations. f plus g of x, that does mean f of x plus g of x. It does not mean to add f plus g, then multiply it times x. If I don't want to say f of x plus g of x, I'll just say, hey, let's do f plus g of x. F minus g of x, that does mean the f of x minus g of x. F times g of x, that does mean take your f of x, multiply it times your g of x. And f divided by g of x is f of x divided by g of x. And by the way, make sure g of x does not equal 0. So this is our algebra functions, our adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. These are just combinations. Let's do one more problem. Okay, I have the functions f of x is equal to 2 over x, and g of x is equal to 4 over x plus 4. Let's do f plus g of x first. So f plus g of x. Remember, that is f of x plus g of x. So f of x is 2 over x plus g of x is 4 over x plus 4. I'm just adding these things together. So the hard part here is you have to remember, you have to get a least common denominator. Well, what is my least common denominator? I need an x. I also need an x plus 4. So my denominator is going to be x times x plus 4. And remember, I can't change 2 over x to something over x times x plus 4 just because it's my birthday, right? Can you make these equivalent fractions? Yes. What did I do to the denominator? How did I get from x to x times x plus 4? Well, you must have multiplied it by x plus 4. So just make sure you multiply the numerator times x plus 4. These are equivalent fractions. The next one, I had x plus 4 for a denominator. I changed it. It is now x times x plus 4. So now that I do have a common denominator, that will just be x times x plus 4. And you just add the numerators. I'm going to use distributive property here. That would be 2x plus 8. Plus, so I don't have to worry about too much. That's just plus 4x. And now I can simplify. So that will be 6x plus 8. All of that divided by x times x plus 4. I could factor the numerator. 2 will come out. If I pull out 2, I will get 3x plus 4. 
but that really didn't help me. I'm not able to cancel anything, so I'm done. Okay, so what did we do? We got a common denominator, and once I had that common denominator, I just added those numerators together. I combined a few like terms. Now let's use the same functions, but let's divide. Okay, I want to take f divided by g of x. Oh, f of x is 2 divided by x. I want to divide this by g of x, which is 4 over x plus 4. Some students get really confused when they see this. There are a few different ways you could do this problem. Probably the easiest way to explain it is to write it out, 2 divided by x, and then that is divided by 4 over x plus 4. And then most of you remember that instead of dividing, you multiply by the reciprocal. So that would be 2 over x times x plus 4 divided by 4. And then I see if I can cancel anything. Now, will this x and this x cancel? No, 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 no. This is not x. This is x plus 4. It goes together. It will only cancel with another x plus 4. But this is 2. This is 4. 2 will go into both of those. So 2 will go into 2 one time, and 2 will go into this 4 two times. So now multiply straight across. In the numerator, 1 times x plus 4 is simply x plus 4. And in the denominator, x times 2 is 2x. 